In this video, I'll show you how to receive USDT or any other stablecoin into your Bybit account. I'll show you sending crypto from a different centralized exchange and also from a different wallet. This process is slightly different because it matters where the USDT is and which blockchain that you're using to deposit it into Bybit. So firstly, we're going to go into our Bybit account. In the top right hand corner, you should see this deposit icon. So click that and it takes you through to this page. Then it says, choose a coin to deposit. Just click USDT here. You can search in the drop down boxes if this isn't here, but just search for USDT. And then it says, which chain are you using to deposit the USDT? USDT and other stable coins like USDC exist on many different blockchains. So it just matters that you know where you're sending it from and which blockchain that you're using so that you can choose that blockchain in your Bybit account. If you're sending on a specific blockchain, you need to receive it on that same blockchain in Bybit. So when it says choose chain here, there are many supported chains. You've got BNB Smart Chain, Ethereum, Tron, Arbitrum, Solana, Polygon, Avalanche, and so on. You can see all of these chains. As long as you're using one of these chains to send in the USDT, Bybit can accept it and it will get deposited into your account. So what we're going to do is go over to the other centralized exchange and choose a chain to send it in on. If someone else is sending you the USDT or other stablecoin, you just have to ask them, which chain do you want to send it on? Or maybe they'll tell you, I'm going to send it over this chain. And so you can just choose the deposit address for that chain. So for Binance, I'm going to withdraw the USDT here. I'm in the withdraw screen and it says select the network. On Binance, I can send over BNB Smart Chain, Tron, Aptos, Ethereum, Polygon, Arbitrum, and many others. These are supported on Bybit as well. As you can see up at the top, actually Binance allow me to send USDT over BNB Smart Chain for free. You can see the uh, price here is zero. So I'm gonna choose that one and it says, get your BNB Smart Chain address where you want to receive it to. So go over to Bybit again and select the chain, select BNB Smart Chain. So I know that I'm sending the USDT on the BNB Smart Chain and I can receive it in Bybit on the BNB Smart Chain because it's an accepted chain. So I'm gonna copy my address then I'm going to go over to the other exchange and I'm going to paste in the address here. It says that it's matched and I can withdraw the USDT down here. Now, what if someone else is sending the USDT and they say to me, I'm going to send the USDT on the Tron network. I have to make sure that Bybit accepts the Tron network. So I'm going to go back to Bybit. Then we can choose a chain again and I'm going to select Tron down here. And that's my deposit address for Tron completely different to the other address. So it matters which blockchain that you're using because all the addresses are different. I'm gonna copy this address. I'm gonna go back over to my Binance. I'm gonna choose Tron because that's where I'm accepting it on Bybit. So TRX Tron right here, paste in the address. Everything matches, there's no errors. And then I can send that USDT over. So in your Bybit account, just get the deposit address for the USDT from wherever you're sending from. The network that you're sending from, that's where you have to receive it into Bybit. If you're sending it on a network that Bybit doesn't accept and you can't get the chain and the address, you can't accept it into your Bybit account. You're gonna to have to use a different chain. If the USDT is being sent from another centralized exchange, it doesn't matter which chain that you use. It just matters that you're using the same chain from where you send it to where you receive it. And where you're sending it from can use the cheapest chain possible. This is slightly different if you're using a wallet. So for example, I have my trust wallet here. And as you can see, I've got some USDT on the BNB smart chain. Now you can see in trust wallet, there's a bunch of other USDTs here, but these are on different chains. At the bottom, you've got Tron, Ethereum, Solana. I don't have any USDT on those chains. Up at the top, I have USDT on the BNB smart chain. Because this is a wallet, it means that that USDT can only be sent over the BNB smart chain. I can't send it to any other address and I can't use any other chain because this USDT is only on the BNB smart chain. So in order to send this over to my Bybit account, I have to make sure that Bybit accepts USDT on the BNB smart chain. We know it does, right? So again, we go to USDT and then we get our address. It has to be BNB smart chain because that is where the USDT is being sent from in my wallet. This is my address. So I'm going to copy this, go back into your wallet right here. You want to press send type in the address. Now this has to be the address of a BNB smart chain wallet, because if it isn't, it will fail. This 
wallet is sending USDT on the BNB Smart Chain. So it has to be accepted on the BNB Smart Chain in Bybit. Bybit do accept this, so this is fine and I can send this out and it's gonna go into this wallet address in my Bybit account. But you can't use any other address because the USDT is only on the BNB Smart Chain in this wallet. So if you're sending in from a centralized exchange, you can use any blockchain as long as it's supported on both ends. If you're sending in from a specific wallet and the USDT is in a specific blockchain, you have to send it over that blockchain and deposit it over that blockchain into Bybit account, uh, your Bybit account. But Bybit supports most major networks, so you shouldn't have any issue overall. And that's how you deposit an asset into your Bybit account.